Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another toy photography video. As you can see, I've got some Funko Pops. I've got a diorama piece. I got my camera. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so here's the plan for the day. So I've had these Street Art Collection Funko Pops for, for a while now. I uh, finally completed everything, and I haven't, I haven't photographed any of them because I wanted to get them all, all the ones that I could, all the part of the set before I ever did it. So today's the day. We're actually going to photograph these. I actually also brought my Extreme Sets uh, building diorama piece i have used this i've used it several times uh, it has a graffiti on the sides of it but here's the thing i'm, I'm going to try a couple of different things number one these street art uh funko pops actually have dioramas on the back of them with graffiti so i'm curious how it would look with this neutral uh background but also with this diorama piece so i let me get some of these out of the box and sort of get everything set up and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, so I've got the actual Iron Man street art pop and these are really cool looking pops. I'm just saying, I mean, we already have the, uh, a ground effect. We've got the wall, we've got graffiti. These are cool looking and as much as I like graffiti, I mean, I had to get these in my collection. So. I have chose the American flag style uh, graffiti piece here. Here's the beauty of this. And again, going back to the simpler side of toy photography, I've got the, the pop right here. I have a neutral setting behind it. And I also have the diorama piece. So very easily you can just do this, just change directions. So I don't know which way I'm going to go yet. So I want to take a couple of test shots. So let's do that. And I also don't know how much of a, how close in a focal point I'm going to get yet. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing. I don't know. So I'm going to just play around with it. But for now, I've got some settings on my camera. Let's do a test shot and see if those are right. All right. All right, so test shot right there. And you can see the neutral background and everything. It's not bad. Main thing right now is just dialing in the camera, dialing in the settings between the two locations that I'm wanting to shoot at. Pretty much the same focal length. Couple of shots right there. Now this one will be a little darker because I've got light hitting this neutral. As you can see, it's it's very, very light colored. We have the, the concrete. So there's a lot of light that will hit this and actually light things up. Where this has a darker background, that's okay. If you actually are shooting manual and you wanna take a setting change, for this, you could drop the shutter speed, uh, which I'm shooting at one four hundredth of a second uh 4.0 500 on the iso so i can drop the shutter speed down to 1 3 20th take another couple of shots and this is just to show you the difference there we go all right so this is the original settings there and it's going to be hard to see in the camera and then this is by, this is one four hundredth f four uh, four point oh and five hundred on ISO. This is one three twentieth, so I just dropped the shutter speed down, and it brightened it up a little bit right there. So that's how easy it is. Um, so yeah, the looking at the shot, I'm gonna try something to where I actually do a tighter shot and try to just frame in the uh, lower part of the diorama piece, maybe like right through here and see what that looks like. It's all about trial and error. We're just dialing things in right now. All right. 
that actually doesn't look too bad to tell you the truth right there so we're utilizing this we're, we're coming right across here with the, the framing of the shot right here so we don't want to get the concrete here we want to come up slightly right there we've got the neutral background behind it let's see what it looks like doing that same shot with this behind it I got a feeling this is going to be better. All right. I will have to adjust. I'm going to take the uh, shutter speed down a little bit more. See if I can frame it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me show you the, the differences here. All right, so right here, we got the neutral background right there, and then the graffiti diorama piece. This I like a lot better. This actually, I think it's gonna do the trick. Even though the neutral looks fine, and if that's all you've got, that's great. For what I'm wanting to envision in my mind, this right here, I think is gonna uh, work out really, really good. So I'm gonna take a few more shots. I'm gonna dial things in a little bit and then we'll come back. We'll start opening up some other figures because this is gonna be down and dirty. It's not a very complicated shoot, but uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so um, I'm fortunate where I'm at this parking lot area actually has a uh, small pea gravel in it uh, is what it's called but it has this type of uh, stone and I don't know I got to thinking this is a an abandoned building sort of like the the depot here and when I look around you know there's weeds and there's rocks and everything there's uh, wood there's all kinds of things just laying around so I thought why not add some of that? to this piece. So overall, I think it looks pretty good, but I wanna, I wanna show you what to keep your eye out when you're taking the photo. And this way you don't have to crop in so much either because of the line at the bottom of the diorama piece. Boom. All right, let's look here. That may push that little button right there. All right, let me scroll down. So I wanna show you what the base of the diorama looks like now. So we got that rock right there, which, which makes a difference. Now, another thing to, to think about is right here, you can see a little gap on both sides. Okay, that's easily fixable. Take some more of your, your pea gravel and just put it back towards the building or the diorama piece or whatever. And that's going to help hide the, uh, the line right there. And just get down and take a look at it and it's, it's going to make sense. So let me show you real quick. So now you can actually see how everything's laid out. So now when you're when you're shooting this way with the camera, you can look straight on both sides and you've got the gravel and you don't have this line right here anymore. Easy breezy, simple uh, little fix that uh, should actually make things cool. And the beauty of this, I've got this set up to where you pull the, this one out, you stick the next one in. So now you're, you're set up because they all have the same bases. So, uh, yeah, that's how, uh, that's how I did that. Not hard. Use the resources that you have in the area you're in. So let's take a couple more shots. Actually, I'm going to do, um, 
instead of portrait, I'm gonna go landscape. I'm gonna see how that one looks. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all, right there. I'm, I'm more than likely going to shoot all of these portrait because that's sort of what I, I like. So I think it'll work out good, but let's, let's double check because I may need to make a setting change. Oh yeah. Yeah. I actually moved the diorama around too. I actually put some, the blue one there, but there you go right there. So yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. So I'm gonna take some more photos and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I have been busy. Um, <laughs> yeah, as I take photos uh, of Funko Pops, I usually take the boxes and the clamshells and yeah, it, it, can, it can get crazy. But I don't ever put anything back up in their boxes until I'm actually done with the session. So yeah, um, photographing these has been really, really fun. I did discover something though. My uh, Spider-Man, yeah, his head wasn't glued. <laughs> so it's it's got like two-sided tape. It's it's interesting. So uh, yeah, I found that out when I took him out of the box. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking too. I've, I've got this Jonathan pop and I got this one because he's got a camera, right? It's, it's cool. So I thought, Hey, you know, he's a tourist. He's walking around and he spots these, uh, statues that are out by this, uh, abandoned beat, uh, building that's been graffitied and tagged and stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to show you, this is just, again, the way my brain thinks. So right here, I'm just going to place him. I'm going to try to orientate the building enough to where I can get him in it. Uh, let's see here. Maybe like that. I don't know. Let's see. How, let's see how it turns out. And the focal point will be on the Jonathan Pop, not the Stanley uh, Street Art Pop. But I can already see one thing I'm not liking. So, I need to re reposition. There we go. That may work out a little better Maybe like that. We're getting there. We're getting there. Because I want to get the camera that he's holding in the shot. All right. Let's see how this looks. All right. All right. Not, not bad. Yeah, right there. So again, something simple, easy, um, making other other pop, pop pops and props. Again, you don't have to have complexity with your shots. We could do this same shot without this. And it actually, I've got an ideal. Yeah, because Stan's going to be the center point here in a minute. But let me show you here. Yeah, right there. So, I just had an ideal. Let me get it set up. And I think this is going to look cool. So, I'll be right back. All right, so my thought process was a couple of things. I was actually uh, looking at the, the boxes themselves, which actually are 
really, really nice. I mean, uh, check out Stan's box right there. Then I thought maybe if uh, the tourist guy stumbled across a, a statue park, I don't know. Uh, so I've been messing around and, and arranging these to see what I could come up with. We got Stan right here in the middle. And I think we're we're getting we're getting close. I mean it's it's definitely not gonna be perfect. Um, but I just I don't know. I wanna see I wanna see what I can come up with that may look good. So Alright. I want some over here. I want some over here. Alright, I think this because I'm not too worried about this this side right here, because I'm gonna be shooting like right here. So maybe bring that one up. I'm gonna bring him a little closer. All right, let's see what we can come up with. Change my focal point. All right. Okay, I need to change a setting. Let's take that up. I took my shutter speed up one stop. Okay, okay, yeah, right there. I mean, it's, is it perfect? No. Is it fun? Yes, and that's all that matters. So, yeah, and you could also do something like this to where we get, uh, we could actually put the figures. So we got, I want, so stands in the middle. All right, let's see what, he, let's see what else we can come up with here. Let me set something else up and I'll be right back. All right, so one last thing I wanted to show you. Um, this is actually probably the simplest of this whole session today because you've, you've seen me with a neutral background. You've seen me with the extreme sets building diorama. But here's something else. You've seen me put rock and stuff like that. But the boxes themselves, right? Use them as a backdrop, right? All right, let's do this. Wow. That's a rental truck. <laughs> All right. So we're going, what we're going to do is we're going, again, like I said earlier, we're going to do a tight, a tight shot. So let's, let's see how this turns out. All right. This is not bad. Yeah, let me uh, make one change because he is a little bit lighter. All right. There we go. All right, here we go. Right there. Boom. So, basically in a nutshell, the pop is truly all you need. If you've got these street art pops, just go find somewhere that's got some, some good light. It can be your basement, your living room, your kitchen, and actually just take the pop out, center it, do a tight shot. Right there, because we're not worried about any of this. We're looking right above, or is that right below where his feet's at? One more. Boom, right there. Easy breezy. That's what this is all about. How can we do simple toy photography, right? So uh, yeah, that's it. We're done. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, number one, if you enjoy me doing these these uh, these videos, I love doing them because I'm always taking photos of stuff, so I don't mind doing the videos. 
Also, let me know if you actually have these street art uh, Funko Pops. I think they're cool. I, I truly do. They're very, very artistic, and I'm, I'm all about that. Uh, also, if this is your first time to my channel, and if you like this content, join the movement, 21K in 2021. It's easy. Subscribe, turn notifications on, you're part of it. That's how easy it is. And one last thing, guys, always remember toys and toy photography refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.